so we are back with another video and in today's video it's going to be a disclaimer video pertaining to my last video i just had to clear the air I just wanted to make sure I don't misinform you guys. Um, first thing I'm gonna say is, when it comes to any brand or any business, and in this case, a candle business, you have to have your own ideas, okay? It has to be original. You can't copy anyone else. It has to come from your own thoughts, your own brainstorming, your own strategies to create a particular brand, to create something authentic, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to say first. Some people were saying, pertaining to my last video, why did I give out all of my secrets? Well, I did not give out all of my secrets. Are you telling people where you get your products? I did not tell you where I get all of my products. People are going to steal your ideas. No, they are not because they can't. Now, let me be very clear. The information that I gave you on my last video is no way taking away from my brand at all. In no way, shape, or form. Come a little bit closer, okay? No one can steal my ideas. No one can steal your ideas. It's all about how you share your information or, you know, in the sense of wanting to help other people. Now, please do not take what I'm going to tell you personal or don't take it, you know, don't get offended. I am just trying to clear the air on, on some things. If you watch, you're a little bit more than you understand what I mean. When I was getting into the candle business, I did my own research and watched a ton of, of YouTube videos. Those videos gave me a blueprint, but because, because of how I wanted to run my business or how I wanted to, or how I want my brand to come across, there was no way that I can copy every single person on YouTube. I took bits and pieces here, bits and pieces here, put them together, and I'm like, hmm, how can I formulate it to make it into my own? And that's why I gave you guys some of the the um, information that I gave in my last video. There are some things that you can take from those videos and implement it into your own business. Like for instance, the Flaming Candle Company link that I gave you guys, that is not the only place where I get my wax. And it's not the only place where I get my fragrance oils. That's just one place. So because I liked that brand, I said, let me go ahead and share it with you guys just in case you guys are shopping around and can't really find anything or, you know, it's, 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 it, it, it could be a starting point. So Flaming Candles, great resource center to get your wax and your fragrance oils and amongst other things. Once you click on the link, you can go and search and see what they have. So that's one source. Now, keep in mind, especially in the Christmas, winter, fall, Black Friday, Thanksgiving this season, everyone is going to be shopping for fragrance oils, wax, jars, you name it. The candle world is gonna blow up because everyone right now in the beginning of this season is gonna be shopping for their supplies. So if you go to Flaming Candles and that's the only thing that that's the only site that you have and they're sold out, what are you gonna do? You see what I mean? So you need to get into the groove of doing your own research. Look, search Google for where you can find wax. And there you go. Google is the is a great search search engine. It is not underrated at all. It is the best place to go to to get to you know to research about candles, how to make it, where to get your supplies. It's a plethora of places to get your supplies. And some states, um, candle supply companies are within that state. You don't have to order out. You can literally go to the store and pick up your pick up your products. I'm in Florida, and in Florida, there's not many candle um supply stores for me to actually drive get in my car and go pick up my items no i have to order online most of my things right so everyone makes candles differently there is a formula where there is a formula that everyone has to follow as far as you know making sure you pour your your fragrance oil at a right temperature or making sure that you know this wax binds to this um binds to this fragrance oil but at the same time, everyone formulates their formula differently. The different measurements, it's different scent throws, it's different, you know, it's the each every wax is different. So I don't want to ramble more on how to make candles. I'm just giving an example. So if you go to Flaming Candles and you want to buy, let's say, coconut wax, and that's the wax that you want to use, and Flaming Candle does not offer coconut wax, what are you going to do? 
Are you going to just buy whatever wax is there? No, don't cheat yourself. Stick to your brand. Stick to what you want to do. Go on Google, research where to get coconut coconut wax and find the, the, the resource center that's best for you and pick your wax from there. Now, the reason why I want to make this video because I don't want new beginners to come on and say, wow, well, Renee said I can go to Flaming Candles. Let me go ahead and go do, let me go ahead and search there and get my supplies there. Renee said to go to Uline to get my boxes. Let me go ahead and go to Uline. No, don't take all of what I say to go do the exact same thing. Do your own research. Trust me, it's the only way you're going to stand out. It's the only way you're going to be able to build your brand from the ground up and you're going to feel proud of yourself that you curated something yourself instead of copying somebody else. So also, I wanted to let you guys know that my formula is my formula and I will not disclose my formula. Why? Because as a candle business owner, you want to do your own research. Like I said, it's, it, I'm going to say the word research so many times, not even funny. Let's play a game. If you can count how many times I say the word research and the first person to comment that gets the number right, I will send you one of my candles for free. Okay, there you go. So if you do your own research, you will feel better about yourself that you, you, you did, you, you did the, the back work. You know, as a business owner in any business, you want to do your own back work. You want to make sure that you search the things for yourself. So please, I hope that this video does not offend anyone. I just want you guys to stand out. I want you guys to build something on your own. I want you guys to be happy with what you, with what you created with your own two hands, knowing that all of it came from you. All of it came from your hard work. All of it came from you doing your own research, okay? So flamingcandles.com is a great place to start. It's a great place to look. It's a great place to go, but it's not the only place. Uline is a great place to go to get your shipping boxes, but it's not the only place. Um, Sticker Mule is a great place to go to get your custom packaging tape, but it's not the only place, okay? Um, um, where I got my, my custom tissue paper, Etsy is a great place to find custom tissue paper from small brands, but it's not the only place right dream vessels where i get um my jars at times is a great place to get your jars but it's not the only place and there's other things that i linked in the description box in my last video where i get some of my things but again those places is not the only places that i go shop for my supplies okay um even the fragrance oil some fragrance oils um well most of my fragrance oils i mix on my own Okay, I don't get the ones that are curated. I mix them on my own. So let's be clear. Okay, and mixing your own fragrance oil is a lot in itself. You just have to be patient and enjoy the process. And that's what I do. And the reason why I mix my own fragrance oils to create a scent is because I want to stand out. I don't want to buy something that everybody else has. So that's that. Flaming Candles does not have all the scent notes that I want to try. Does that make sense? So please, do not mistake the last video as this is the only, those are the only places that I go to because it is not. I just wanted to share some of my places to help you guys out in case you're doing research and you stumble upon something. And I'm pretty sure that most, most of the things that I've mentioned, you guys already know about them. If you're a candle business owner or if you're starting out, you heard about Flaming Candles. So it's not like it's the only place for you to go, right? So this video is, you know, a little bit short, but I wanted to make sure that I clear the air and that I don't want to misinform anyone. I will announce the winner of whomever found how many times I said the word research. Once you comment the number of times that I, that I said the word research, put underneath it your Instagram handle. If you don't have an Instagram handle, then please put your email and I will go ahead and send you an email of, that you're the winner or I will go ahead and send you um, a DM at, on Instagram if you're the winner and also follow me on Instagram my Instagram is normals underscore scented underscore candles hey guys thank you for tuning in and I hope you don't get offended I hope you take what I say with a grunt with a grain of salt that I'm only here to help you guys I'm trying to help you guys for those that follow me and and, and have all these questions i am so humbled by that because i remember when i used to go on youtube and 
search candle business and there are some till this day that i follow that i look up to because they have reached a level in their business that i am trying to get to so thank you so much for entrusting in me to share my information to share my to share my experiences with you guys and i hope you subscribe and have an amazing day thanks for tuning in and god bless